Hey there, basketball fans. Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of the most talented young players in the world, Kai Sato. He's a 7 feet 3 inches giant from the Philippines who's making waves in the basketball world. In this video, we're going to analyze Kai Sato's game and identify his strengths and weaknesses. We'll look at what makes him such a dominant force on the court, and what areas he needs to improve on to become even better. One of Kai's strengths is his height. He has a natural advantage over other players because of his height, which makes it easier for him to block shots and score points. Another strength of Kai's is his agility. Despite his height, he is able to move quickly and easily on the court, making it difficult for his opponents to keep up with him. Now, let's look at his weaknesses. One area where Kai needs to improve is his strength. He can sometimes get pushed around by bigger, stronger players, which limits his effectiveness on both ends of the court. He also needs to work on his speed and agility, as he can be a bit slow getting up and down the court. Kai Sato needs to develop a go-to move that he can use in the post. This move should be something that he's comfortable with and can execute consistently. It could be a drop step, a jump hook, or a turnaround jumper. By having a go-to move, Sato will be able to score more efficiently in the post. Footwork is essential in the post, and Kai Sato needs to work on his footwork. He needs to learn how to pivot, how to use his body to create space, and how to move quickly and efficiently. By improving his footwork, Sato will be able to get better positioning in the post and score more easily. Remember, footwork is a skill that can always be improved. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, practicing these drills and techniques can take your post game to the next level. Fakes are a great way to create space and get the defender off balance. Kai Sato should practice fakes like the up and under, the head fake, and the shot fake. By using fakes, Sato will be able to create more scoring opportunities for himself. The post is a physical place, and Kai Sato needs to improve his strength and endurance. He needs to be able to hold his position in the post, fight for rebounds, and play tough defense. By improving his strength and endurance, Sato will be able to stay on the court longer and perform better. Finally, Kai Sato should watch and learn from other great post players. He should watch videos of players like Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Tim Duncan. By watching these players, Sato can learn new moves, techniques, and strategies. Developing a go-to move, working on footwork, practicing fakes, improving strength and endurance, and watching and learning from other great post players are all important things that Sato should focus on. If he does, he'll become a much better post player and a more effective scorer. But don't worry, Kai fans, these are all things that can be improved with practice and hard work. And with his incredible work ethic and dedication to the game, there's no doubt that Kai will continue to get better and better. Overall, Kai Sato is a very talented player with a lot of potential. By focusing on his strengths and working on his weaknesses, he can become an even better player in the future. We can't wait to see what he will achieve in the world of basketball. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.